Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, the market was relatively choppy on the last 24 hours with the US dollar, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, retreated slightly from its highs to 93.90. This sort of slight rebound in front of the support level of Euro 115.2025 and recaptures the 116 handle. In light of the pattern here, I would be a little bit cautious because the other side is lacking momentum or more lackluster price action given that the rebound wasn't supported. With the RSI and also the MACD waiting to, for the confirmation, could still see a downturn. With the events this week of the Federal Reserve rate decision, and along with that, with the non-farm payrolls on Friday, could put rather a whipsaw price action like we saw on Friday. Looking at the Australian dollar, the market is backed away from that uh, resistance level of 75.45. And with the divergence kicking in, finally we're seeing a little bit more bearish traction. It is assessed that we could see a slide down towards this support level of 74.40.45 and reassess. I'm not getting overly bearish, but I will say that the market is poised for a test down. And let's see if it can reach its objective. Dollar yen, a little bit sideways in that 113.20 to 114.70. Uh, band or parameters and still at the moment I hold a view towards the downside looking at 113.20 reassess in case we are looking a little bit further to around 112.70 still be aware that if we see a break above 114.40.60 area or close to 70 would leave me neutral the pound was weaker again on Monday and sliding further to its objective of 135.55 I think from there, the bulls may step in and actually see a little bit bullish or profit taking coming through. So do be on your guard and continue to lower your stop losses according to your risk management in case we do see a reversal. Kajen still trading sideways and still waiting for that confirmation from the outside range day at 91.40. Until then, I'm neutral and I wait the break. If so, looking down towards 89.40. Gold still looking for a direction since they're backing away from that 1,812.16 area. From there, the bears are still lurking. I still feel overall that we are looking back towards this bottom side of the range around 1,748 and reassess. Well, with the fourth day now coming in to the bullish count when it comes to oil, I'm actually wondering if the view to the bearish case would eventually emerge down towards 79 or even lower to 74. I feel the market is actually likely to see another retest to that top side, which is somewhere close to around that 84 region. A break above 84 or more to the fact 85 could see the stretch up to 88, 91 as a potential target. But for now, I'd rather be neutral. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the interest rate report. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.